Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I'm just going to do a really short one on how to use XY pads in M Sound Factory MXX or really any other uh, Melda Production plugin that uses the multi parameters and has an easy screen. So let's get started. I'm not really going to worry too much about the sound. This really isn't about, you know, sound design or anything like that. Uh, I have a few different types of oscillators here. I have the normal oscillator here, just with a super saw sound. I have a wavetable oscillator here. I have an FM oscillator here. And I have an additive oscillator here. So I tried to make them all different and show you can do this with many different types of sources. And you don't even need to use uh, oscillators. You could do this with filters or something else, but I think this is just an easy way to demonstrate it. So I'm gonna turn them all on and they're all going out to their respective lanes. I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna use a mixer to mix them all together. Right click on the mixer and turn on input one through four. One thing you'll notice is they're still being output there. We don't want that. So we're just going to use steel input one, two, three, and four. And now all of them are going through here. To mix these all together and make an XY pad on the easy screen, what we're going to do is just click this part here, click learn, move this, move this, move this, and move this. Input one through four. Now if we look in M1 here, you'll see we have all of these in here. Now, instead of manipulating all of these separately, what we're going to do is we're going to use the bank mode or banks mode here. Okay. So now that we have the banks mode, we want input one to only have input uh, this at zero and then turn the rest of them completely down. Okay. So that way when we're on the first one, which you can also name these, which might be useful later. So let's just call this OSC for the normal oscillator there and then for the next one input two we'll leave this one at zero decibels and turn the rest of them down and we'll name it wavetable for the next one we'll do the exact same thing turn the other uh, inputs down and we'll name it fm and then the very last one we'll name it add after we turn everything down Now, if you look at it now, you're going to see, like, there's nothing there. We need to name it something. So I know you're probably going to name it like, oh, let's name it like, a, I don't know, thing or something like that. But actually, you see, it's not an XY pad, and we don't want to name it that. That's not going to be good. What we do need to do is name it X. And you're like, why does it need to be X? Because it's an XY pad. Uh, I think this is actually important. The next thing we need to do, which is very, very important, is... X, Y between pad, between banks. That'll let us, let us use this between four banks. Previously, you could only do two parameters, but now with this, we can use all four like this. So now we have this set up. We look, hey, still not working, why? The reason is because we need X and Y. So the next multi-parameter, the one that's adjacent to it, we're gonna just name this Y. We don't need to do anything to this. And then go back to X, and make sure this is at X, Y, pad one, two, three, four, etc. Now, if we look at it, we have X, Y, we have this set to X, Y, pad, and we have an X, Y, pad, and you see it's labeled correctly here. If you think, you know, this is a little bit small, right? We just open this up, and what we're gonna do is we'll just change it from X, Y, pad one to X, Y, pad two. That's well, better, X, Y, pad three, and X, Y, pad four. You can choose the size depending on the GUI you want. Now let's go through it and move it around and see how it sounds. So you see, we can morph between all of them and you can come up with a sound that is, you know, good for you. I'll show you a few more tricks. So, uh, here, if you want to actually assign these to MIDI, like let's say you have a MIDI controller with an XY pad, what you can do is 
just use the MIDI learn and then move something here uh, using your MIDI learn feature. Or you can just assign it here to whatever your MIDI controller is. So like, oh, okay, select the parameter. In this case, it would probably be the X parameter here. Uh, and go through and do this manually. Where is it? Multi-parameters. First one, multi-parameter one, X. Just choose that. And then from here, I would choose my MIDI controller. That's how you do that if that's what you want to do and you have a MIDI controller. But I'll show you one more thing that's secret. So this will be in the next version, but now it's beta, but I'll, I'll show you anyways. Don't tell anybody. Here you see we have four, right? And like, it's the square. That's nice. But what happens if I added another oscillator? Like, let's say I wanted, you know, five things on here. Um, I don't know, what, what might I want? It's actually nothing else I really want in here. But if I did, like, let's say if I wanted to play a, uh, I don't know, M drum sampler. I have some effects in here. Maybe I want to play some weird sound for some reason. Uh, let me see what that sounds like. Like that. Let's see, for some reason I wanted that in there. I can go to the mixer and use input 5, steal input here. If you're thinking like, it's still the square, it's not working. What we're going to do is just click learn. Make sure you don't use clear and learn because we don't want to clear up what we did before. And move this here. Okay. Now you see we have input 5. As you're editing this, make sure you change the other ones down to 0 here. 0, 0, 0. Make sure you change the number of banks to 5. Whoa. Like this. It should be automatic to have the interpolate values, but if you don't, make sure that's on for all these parameters. Turn these down, and now I have this. Now you're wondering, like, hey, okay, well, that's great, but now we have 5. Is it going to be a square still? But if you look at it, no, it's not. So you see we have this circle where we have all these different parameters. Unfortunately, when you do this, it takes off the uh, name, but you do get lots of different sounds here. So you can blend between them like that. Uh, if you want to try some different ways, you can do that too. Of course, you don't need to necessarily use different oscillators. And if you think like, hey, I kind of want to put some filters. If you put a filter in between here, you can do all sorts of interesting things. I could put you know, an oscillator and then I could put some effects in between it and use it with the mixer to blend them that way. So there's an infinite number of possibilities. with their, As long as there's a multi-parameter, there's a way. I hope this gave you some ideas of things that you can do and some interesting instruments that you yourself could make. Uh, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't done that. And check out all the other plugins at MelderProduction.com. Till next time, see you.